behind the unassuming facade in Helsinki's residential Tölä neighborhood lies a hive of artistic activity. This is Lallukka, home to many of the city's brightest and most talented painters, musicians, actors and designers. For lovers of Finnish art, this building is iconic. For its residents, both a home and a creative space. One of the longest-running artistic residences in the world, La Luca opened its doors in 1933. Before that, an open architecture competition was organized in order to build the perfect home for artists. We have a quite uh, strong tradition in architectural competitions in Finland, already from the 1800s. Because of that, there is um, quite good quality in, in public buildings in Finland. And also young architects can become famous through this uh, tradition. Just Juslen, uh, he was about 45 years old architect, not, not, not very old. Um, he wanted to make a piece of art himself. Artists work for artists. As a token of Finland's appreciation of the building and its role in fostering Finnish art, the state and the city of Helsinki funded most of its recent 10 million pound revamp. It was a complicated process, the goal of which was to make the space adept for modern use while maintaining its original design language. They wanted Lallukka to look as if it had just been built. The architect started by studying the building methods used in the 1930s. When we started the restoration about eight years ago, we made um, color studies. We took out all previous colors. There are several layers of them and found those original colors and we made a new interpretation of, out of them. The feeling should be that it has always been like this. That's my goal. There is a strong sense of belonging and pride among Lalukas residents, most of whom both live and work in the building. The residents meet each other in various clubs and care for the house together. So when I came here, there was this kind of modern garden that looked, um, for me, a little bit too um, bleak. So I was thinking maybe if I make a good plan and present it to Lalukka, uh, that, that I would like to do this, maybe they will let me do it. Then they did. And so uh, me and Päivi, wife of composer Olli Kortekangas, and we've been planting flowers so that it blooms from the first time of spring until end of autumn. Laluka has always been an artist's home, and its design choices reflect this. The north-facing skylight windows provide ample and even light throughout the day, and there are practice rooms for the performing arts. The studios are so popular that once people get accepted to move to Lalukka, most stay there for the rest of their lives. Uh, the light is wonderful here, uh, and I can, in the winter time, have fireplace and all these things that make it feel like I'm really living the dream and not working like a slave, like sometimes one of course feels that I'm in this sweatshop and fit me out of here. <laughs> it's artist life, you know, but with, with this place it doesn't feel so... It, the deadline becomes rather pleasant. This is a building made for art. The fact that artists live side by side fosters cooperation and adds to their creative processes. It is not uncommon for the residents to consult each other when looking for inspiration. So at the moment I'm uh, writing a piece for my, my dear neighbor, Ale, Mr. Ale Lindgren, an oboe piece, solo for oboe. It's a treat to, to be able to call him any time and, and ask him to come over. And there are about 10 feet between us. You know, we can work in a workshop-like atmosphere and, and I can call him any time and ask about some details and so on. So it's a laboratory, really. Artist residencies today often house artists from one particular field only. But Lalukka takes pride in being one of the first multidisciplinary artist residencies in the world. Well, I've always been interested in other fields of art, uh, especially uh, visual, the visual arts, uh, architecture, but also literature. We don't have any writers in this house, but, but we have visual artists and, and uh, theatre people. So I think it's definitely uh, a good thing that we have this mixture. Uh, 
a house with only musicians, that would be, you know, that would be boring. <laughs> the list of Lalukas residents reads like the encyclopedia of Finland's art history. But as the strong sense of community attests, its active residents make it very much a living house. Yeah, we definitely, we are like a short story in the long history of, of the house and, and what it's still to come. But funny enough, like I got maybe a little bit stressed because we have this secret shop, which is definitely, it must be the smallest shop in town. This must be like one of the biggest ateliers in the, in the country. And there's a little bit of a, of a weird contrast between these two. Mm. So I don't know. We, we tend to create quite small things with our craft makers as well, so that we can transport artwork from different countries. Now we face this vast space. Historically, most of its residents have been Finnish, but the building is gradually opening up to international artists. With younger artists taking over, a new spirit of openness comes with them, and the resident swings its doors open to the neighborhood, quite literally. Sometimes Yaya is our dog is on the table, and the passing by dog stop by and say hello, and sometimes we like sail through the window. And the best thing is actually delivery. Like we get heavy stuff and everything comes through window. Coffee break, like friends drop by there and they sit outside, we have coffee. Yeah. And some friends use it when they come to visit here. They don't come through the door, they come through the window in the summertime. So that works as well. Art in cities enriches urban life. It adds meaning to the communities and humanizes the built environment. And just like it's nice to witness a baker or a shoemaker through a shop window, the citizens of Helsinki have a vibrant artist community living among them. For Monocle in Helsinki, I'm Petri Burtsov.